Driver safety. Have you heard of this topic before? You know, it's not covered enough in the news or here on YouTube. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss driver safety when it concerns weather. Yeah, so, you know, here in Southern California, I am so used to the nice sunshine. That's why everybody moves here to get out of the harsh weather of the rest of the United States, be able to hit the beach and enjoy life. Well, when I'm doing food delivery, I want to make sure that I'm safe. How often do you think about that? One accident, that's all it's going to take to shut you down for the day. And even if you're not at fault, that's going to take so much time to get back on the road. And in the meantime, if you don't have another vehicle, you're not going to be earning any money at all. So, am I saying... Don't go out and do food delivery or ride share when it's raining? Not necessarily. If you can afford it, I would recommend maybe stay home. But if you have to go out and earn money then just be careful. Slow down. I know that's really hard, but slow down. Especially here in Southern California, seems like everybody wants to drive 100 miles per hour everywhere. And that's just not feasible and it's not safe. Take that extra time. Who cares about who's behind you and honking and upset at you? Because all it takes is if you don't see a car, then you turn or something happens and someone hits you and that would be sad or even in parking lots be very careful you want to pull into your parking spot carefully and back out carefully i know this may seem like the basic concept that you had to figure out when you were learning to drive but it's vitally important because if you have any sort of accident or issue while you're out trying to earn some money you're not going to be able to earn any more money and odds are pretty high that you're going to have to pay money to fix your vehicle. So slow down. Another point about bad weather. Do you have a flashlight with you? You may need it. And especially just day to day, if you deliver food at night, you're going to need a flashlight to shine outside on the address because a lot of people around here at least don't do that. And in bad weather, you may need that flashlight to help you even more, such as if your car breaks down to find an address, to look through your car if it's dark, trying to find more food delivery bags for your orders. So have a flashlight with you. Third idea is have some emergency food and water with you in the car. You may not need it, but if you do, you're going to be happy that you had it. And if you're out doing food delivery and you forgot your lunch, worst case, you can actually snack on this and rejuvenate yourself so you can keep on delivering food. But primarily have this food and water for emergency purposes. So I can only imagine what you're thinking right now. Wait a minute, Russ. When you're out there, you're going to get higher tips and more orders whenever it's bad weather because none of the other drivers are going to be out there. So I'm going to get rich. Well, not necessarily. If you think about it, customers may be placing more orders, but I don't necessarily know or could guarantee that they're going to give you higher tips. I happened to do a couple orders these last couple days and it was raining and I didn't really want to be out too long. And I did notice on Grubhub there were a few more orders than normal, not so on Uber Eats. I ended up taking two, one from Grubhub and one from Uber Eats, and the tips weren't extreme. I didn't notice the tips changing afterwards. So I don't think the customer really cares or appreciates what you have to go through when you're delivering in bad weather. I don't think that they necessarily give you more money. Now, maybe there were more orders. Um, I did notice that on Grubhub. Uh, that could have been from more customers ordering or not as many drivers. But I still think you need to consider the risk of what if you have an accident? What if you break down? What if something happens because you're not going slow and paying attention and you really can't even control the other drivers, right? What if something happens because you chose to work on that day when it was raining really hard or snowing? Is it worth, what would you make, an extra $100, maybe $200 in the day? Do you think that's really going to be worth it if you have a vehicle accident? So I can understand, you know, here in California, we're very spoiled by the weather. It's usually always sunny and nice. Now, if you are from a state where the weather's, you know, not as nice as California, or excuse me, different than California, 
maybe then it's not such a big deal for you and your version of bad weather would be when it gets really bad. And in that case, that's what I'm talking about in this video. I would say consider taking the day off or at least going really slow. Another side effect of bad weather. You know, just like when traffic starts picking up, you notice that it's really hard to get around. Well, all day and all night when you have bad weather, the same thing is gonna happen. You're naturally gonna have to slow down because you can't see as well, and there's gonna be other cars out there. And that may have the same effect as though there's traffic. So you may consider this as well. You may think you're gonna get more money and handle more orders, but actually maybe you won't because you're going to be naturally slowed down by these different obstacles. So that's something else to consider before you think you're going to make a lot of money out working in bad weather. When's the last time that you replaced your windshield wipers? And do you have the uh, windshield wiper fluid topped off? Is it ready to go on a moment's notice? Because during bad weather, you don't want to be caught out there unprepared. When you need those windshield wipers, you need them immediately. Not, let me pull over and, and go check something out. You need them right then. I always like taking care of my own vehicle, so I'm perfectly fine changing my own tire. But what happens like on my car when the starter went out, I was in the middle of a food delivery and I called AAA and they came and helped me and towed me off so that I could get it fixed and uh, pay some money. So consider using something like AAA or another company where they can come and give you another battery or give you some gas. You know, hopefully not gas because you should gas up every time before you start driving. So these types of services I would say are essential if you're out there doing food delivery and especially rideshare because that vehicle helps us make money. You need to be able to keep it on the road. I know driver safety really isn't something that I think about often, but when you feel unsafe, you're going to quickly realize how vulnerable you are as a food delivery driver and a rideshare driver. A whole nother topic could be what those gig economy companies are telling us that they're doing for us to make us feel safe. You notice that phrase, feel safe? Does that actually mean you are safe? So I hope you agree driver safety is very important. And I wanted to cover just some weather related issues on something that would make us unsafe as drivers. Up here, I have a video linked and it's going to cover the importance of keeping the inside of your windows clean. As a rideshare driver, this could cost you tips. And for all of us, food delivery and rideshare, when you're out in bad weather, you need to be able to see, right? That's why I wear glasses. I want to see. Well, keep your windshield clean because you need to see the road and not have an accident. My name is Russ. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like the video and like the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my next one. All right, take care.